Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of HRD 600, History and Philosophy of Adult Education. So in week number nine, as you can see, the title is The Right to Write, Book Choice, and Inviting More Voices. And to me, let's get right to it. It's going to be a relatively short video. The overarching questions was, or are, how does writing and finding confidence in one's voice relate to your own learning as well as to adult education in general? And how do we embrace greater diversity in adult and higher education? So those are the overarching questions. The course outcomes, which as you know, come from this thing called a blueprint. And then, so what I'd like everybody to do is a couple of things. First of all, finish reading this book. This is Cameron's book. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then your book of choice, and I'll get to that. Uh, reflect on, reflect, consider the connections. You, I, I posted this material yesterday. Hopefully people have had a, a, maybe a, a chance to take a look at it. But, um, you know, consider, I think, the whole idea behind this. And there's some other books that people in, in uh, I, I could have used, but it's a little bit different. I Sometimes I use different books for different courses, but some of the books for each one of the courses, this in particular, the adult learner course, sometimes are interchangeable. But for this, you know, um, we've been reading Julia Cameron's book, really, and it's all about developing your voice through writing. And if there's one thing that I've learned from that book, and I've read it many times over, is that you just write. You, you, you become a better writer by writing. But you also, as we know about Dewey's work, and you, you need a reflective component to it also. And, you know, I personally participate in a couple of writing groups. This is, you know, people that get together and for an hour, hour and a half, we write. And sometimes we share what we're writing, but we just write in, in a setting and it's a dedicated time and space for us to do that. But as a result of that, um, many things come to the forefront and usually it has to do with um, helping organize certain things. But so that to me is what Julia Cameron's book is about. And then, you know, we, we have a really powerful book. Um, it's a difficult book to read, Sapphire's book, Push. And, you know, that particular book is, it's been made into a movie, um, but the book is uh, probably one of the most powerful books about, um, to me, coming from silence to having a voice and, and reading about a person's experience through that journey. So... We have a lot of articles in here. You know you don't have to read every one of them. Please take a look at each one of them as you see fit. You might be able to jump into it a little bit, um, scan them. If you do find any of these links that are not working, please let me know. I check them all, double check them. They're working on my computer, which doesn't some sometimes necessarily mean they're working for you. Um, so participate in the online discussion. Note you will have this week, week number nine and week 10 to participate. So you have two weeks, two weeks to do two discussion forums. So if you wanna start with one, that would be fine. But that's really the issue that I wanted to, to mention as far as the discussion forums. You have two weeks to do those discussion forums. And I'm gonna just do one more thing. I'm gonna shift gears. Just to finish up, I wanted to reiterate um, this was the announcement. Participate in the online discussions. You have two weeks. You have two weeks to get these discussion forums done. You can do one this week, one next week, or blast them out this week, whatever works for you. Continue learning your learning journals and your, your field study. Um, and then finally, I just wanted to let everybody know that my goal for the week is to get everybody's discussion participation grades done. And that means becoming current on all of the grading that I have and any other submitted um, assignments. You know, I'll get caught up on those, the journal summaries that you did. I'm still waiting on a few of them, so please get them to me as soon as possible. 
And one final thing, I will be traveling this week. I'm, I'm presenting at the American Association for Adult and Continuing Education conference, and that is a um, national conference that's being held in Reno, Nevada this week. And I have been selected and I will be presenting a topic really dealing with Malcolm Knowles' work and Andrew Goji. So I'll be there, um, which means I'll be traveling all day Tuesday and all day Friday. So if you need me, send me an email. I, I will be around. And in the meantime, any questions, just, just shoot them to me, and I will be as prompt as I possibly can getting back to you. So I hope you have a great week, and if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. And uh, we'll see everybody online. Bye.